Aloha everyone, my name is Kyra Santos and I'm an independent consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be the Pirate Ship Video 3 and it's talking about creating shipping labels manually and creating shipping labels in bulk with the simple upload of a spreadsheet. So come on and check it out mate. Arr. Let's create a shipping label. Click on the word ship. On the top you'll see create a single label. The second option is uploading a spreadsheet, and the third option is import from integrations. So we haven't talked about integrations yet, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So create a single label is probably the most common thing you can do for creating the shipping label, but just know that there is an option to upload spreadsheet. So let's just say you have quite a bit of orders and you actually manually keep track of it all on an Excel document, um, or you're able to pull a report from your actual online store or a system. Just know that you can actually upload that spreadsheet. Um, it does get a little tedious, but that is an option. But I'll go into that a little bit more and show you a little bit more support on that. But let's create a single label right now. So you can go ahead and create a single label by clicking it. Another option is hovering over ship and clicking single. So two different options to choose from. Now, as you can see here, it says create a shipping label. There are two different methods you can do by entering the data in. The first one is actually going to be manually inputting everything in each field. And then there's another method where you can actually clump it all together. So for example, the email is optional, but remember if you want your tracking sent over to your customer, then you'll need the email here. So let's just make up one by putting I love Boeing at gmail.com. Let's move over to the next. The phone is optional, so let's skip over that as well. And then we'll put the name. So let's just put Jane Boeing. And then the company, this is optional as well. Her address is going to be 91-600 Burlington Highway. And it does auto-populate, so that's an amazing thing. Sometimes you can just put it all in, so it's up to you. If they have an apartment unit or suite, that's what you want to put right here. Have, um, this option of putting it at the end as well here, like a part, apartment G, will also work as well. But there's another field for that. So you can also skip over and type it in by putting Kaplei, Hawaii, and then 96707. So that is that. But let's just delete that so you can kind of see the auto-population that occurs. You can also select that, and it'll auto-populate those fields as well. Now, the second option of adding all this in is going to be like this. And let me just go ahead and erase this really quick for you folks. So you can see the other option. Now, the other option is awesome, too. So it's going to be clicking this paste address. What you're going to do is enter the name first, and you'll start seeing things populate on the bottom. And then her address. 600 Farrington Highway, and it's auto-correcting itself as well. Then you're going to have the city, the state, and then the zip code. And as you can see, all those fields in blue below have populated. Now the last can be the email. So I love blue at gmail.com, and that'll auto-populate there. This is very um, nifty or very awesome, especially if you're copying and pasting it from your online store or maybe even postable or some other method, um, maybe even direct messages on Facebook Messenger from the customer. So you can just do an easy copy and paste here and then it'll start auto populating. Just a reminder that some online stores have this email like this. So you're going to want to make sure that you do not have that email and you remove it because right there, it also populates into another field as well as that one, which will actually go on the shipping label. So it should not do that. So make sure that you look over it and take out the things that should not be in there to make sure that your address is actually good. So let's scroll down and we're going to actually see the package details. So we can either choose from a don't use save package, which remember we created two of them, as you can see here, or you can just keep it to this and then choose here. So if you want to do a onesie twosie here and create this, you can as well. I normally do not create save packages for the flat rates because these are very easy to just choose from. So it's normally either going to be one of these two that I create save packages for. So for demonstration purposes, let's go ahead and do this. 
let's just say my package weighed in at 4.5 ounces and it doesn't matter on the dimensions once again because of the weight um, and I'm going to choose this because it falls between 4.1 ounces and 8 ounces so let's select that as you can see here so just a reminder the ship from address you can click this drop down and choose your respective ship from address but as you can see here here is the default package that I chose and now I'm going to get the rate so this is somebody local because once again, I live here in Hawaii. So the price should be fairly low because it is somebody local, but we can also change that as well. So let's go ahead and get the rate by clicking this. And it's going to be $3.21, which is an awesome price. So as you can see here, this is going to be your address for your customer. This is going to be the first class package, as we talked about, because it's based on the weight. This is going to be $3.21 through Pirate Ship. So look at the savings, $1.39 of savings for just your shipping. So you would have paid $4.60 at the post office if you had them weigh and actually give you a label. Okay, so just know that there's other options as well to choose from. So you can actually click this down, and then if you wanted something a little bit more um, coverage based on it, express mail, um, you can actually choose that as well. But that's the reason why we have that save package is to get that savings right there. Now here's that ship date. Remember based on the actual time zone that you chose from the beginning, that's going to be the ship date and then the time. So remember it's going to go out in an email to your actual customer. So this is actually projected one hour from now because that gives you a little bit of cushion for the refund in case you made a mistake. On the bottom here, it tells you you're going to be charged this amount on the Visa card or whatever card you actually choose to make payment. So if you wanted that mini transaction or if you wanted to do a flat transaction, just know that it's going to say $3.21. So it's going to charge it to your card as soon as I click this buy label. So if you look on the far left, you'll see previous step or cancel and delete label. You can choose either or, just know that previous step is to take you back in case you needed to edit the package or the address and so forth. Cancel and delete means that you absolutely don't want this label and you're canceling it. I'm going to click the buy label just so you guys can see it. So as you can see here, this is where the package is going to get mailed off to. Here is the actual tracking number. And once again, that will be emailed out to my customer in roughly an hour. It'll also give you the status. So you purchased it and it's ready to print. It'll also tell you if it's shipped in transit and then finally delivered. Now you do have that print label on the top right in green. And then it actually just kind of shows you something on like maps. If you scroll down a little bit more, it'll actually go over the zone that you were in with the first class package. This is your cost. This is the ship date. And then this is actually when the email will go out to the customer. Now the cool thing too is let's just say you have another package to mail off to the same address. You can actually duplicate by clicking this and it'll duplicate that exact shipment. Maybe you have a different size package and you don't have to retype everything over. You can also export the tracking data as well. And then here's the refund label. So we're gonna actually go through that because I do not want to send this package. This was only for demo purposes. So refund label. So when I click on refund label, this is what will pop up. USPS refunds take up to 30 days. And the reason for that is it says it right here. Um, it just wants to make sure that it's not gonna be used. Um, so it gives you that 30 day period for the refund um, and it'll credit to your account. Then it'll ask you, do you wanna continue? So you can just click continue and then it'll actually give the status of a refund. So that label will not be available to be used, meaning that barcode or that actual specific tracking is not gonna be able to be used. Now, once again, if you were sent that email out to your recipient because it's automated, just a reminder that if that email was already sent over to your recipient, in this aspect, you want them to have the correct tracking number when, and they will get that when you create the new shipping label. So I'm going to continue and I should get this. Once I click that refund, I should be able to get this on the top. This label was submitted for a refund. The pirate ship account balance will be credited as soon as USPS approves the refund. Like I said, it could take up to 30 days. So now that we created the shipping label, I'm gonna go over that other method of the Excel document and uploading multiple addresses based on your needs. So if you actually go to support, there's a good video on there 
that will actually walk you through this process. Once again, it is quite tedious. So this support area allows you to actually get insight and videos regarding many other topics, as you can see here. So you can actually utilize this very much. Um, in this particular reason, we're going to go ahead and type in upload. And when I hit enter or return, it'll actually say, how do I upload a spreadsheet with different weights and dimensions? You can also do this. How do I upload address spreadsheets into Pirate Ship? So let's go to that one. Um, just know that there are two different, looks like two different topics, but I'm sure they'll all integrate into one. So there's a great video here. It says create shipping labels from a spreadsheet. Now there, it, like I said, it gets very tedious, but here's a download example of a spreadsheet. It walks you through the exact steps, labeling it. So you can definitely research this a little bit more. Now I want to definitely go back to that other one earlier where I said upload and pick this one because a lot of my packages have different weights and sizes. So I just want to make sure I read this first sentence. Pirate Ship was built to make turning spreadsheets into shipping labels super easy. But if you've got packages that are different weights and sizes, here's step-by-step -step instructions as well, which is that video that we were talking about. Preparing your spreadsheet, as you can see here. So it goes into detail of the steps. It's amazing how they do it. And it says here, first off, note that you currently can't specify different package types, extra services, or custom forms options in a spreadsheet. So all orders in your spreadsheet need to share those characteristics meaning they all need to be the same for these, okay? At minimum. For example, if you're shipping differently sized envelopes and boxes, you'd need a sheet for each package. So that's for uploading the spreadsheet. Now let's talk about the integration as well. Anytime you hit the ship, it's gonna bring you right back to the home page, which is this page. Now the import from integrations is also another feature as well. So let's look at setting. If you have another online store that you use, this would be a great method to get that integration going. So from settings and integration, you're gonna click on that. And then you're gonna see all the different integrations that actually allow you to connect with Pirate Ship. So Etsy's common, eBay's common, Shopify's common, along with all these other ones. So just know that you have all this opportunity to integrate your store with Pirate Ship so those labels from your actual store can be generated here. Now, I know some of them already utilize um, a, some type of shipping store or some type of shipping management service, and that's fine as well, but just know that you can actually integrate. Just because I don't have any stores that I currently integrate with, but definitely research that, but that is an option regarding importing from your integration. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it simplified the process of creating those shipping labels manually or even through bulk. Please stay tuned for video four, talking about how to print your labels and taking them to the post office or getting them picked up. We'll wrap it up with pulling reports so you know how much money you actually spent on your packages and how often you actually ship to different locations. Now, please like this video and give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and turn that notification bell on so you know when I post the next video. Now, if you are interested in joining the Shine with Aloha team and being able to be your own boss, work at your own flexible schedule, earn a 45% commission, even potentially wanting to build your own team, you are accessing a whole nother family here. You'll be able to shop the free paparazzi website that the company gives to you and also shop at the wholesale price of $2.75. Amazing. So if you are interested in joining the paparazzi accessories team with Shine with Aloha, please contact me through email at shinewithaloha at gmail.com or you can connect with me on Facebook at Shine with Aloha or on Instagram at Shine with Aloha 808. We'd love to have you on the Shine with Aloha team so you could rock your business. So whether you're a new customer or you've been shopping paparazzi forever, please consider on joining. You're going to save a lot of money. Be blessed and don't forget to let God's light and love shine through you. Aloha.